Hey New Prospect family, Pastor Drew here for PTB 2022 for April 22nd, 2022. It's been a great week uh, praying together uh, all week long. Pastor Jay will be jumping in tomorrow, so excited to, to get to pray with him over the next week. So, um, But let's go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, Father, we love you. Uh, thank you for who you are, what you uh, mean to us, Father, your Son, and salvation, and uh, the resurrection that we continue here just almost a week after Easter, we're still excited and energized by um, what that means for us every day and how we get to live in this reality that, that you're alive and your power lives within us. So, Lord, the proper response should be should be worship. Father, it should, it, it should cause us to cry out and to shout and rejoice and not be silent. Um, in Psalm 33, it's rejoice in the Lord, righteous ones. Praise from the upright is beautiful. Lord, it's beautiful when we worship. Father, our worship is beautiful. I can't sing, but Father, you think worship and praise is beautiful. And that's exciting. So it makes me want to sing, even though I can't. Uh, Lord, I'm, I'm thankful. Uh, it says, praise the Lord with the higher, uh, the lyre. Make music to him with a ten-stringed harp. I think of the talented musicians that we have here that help lead us in worship. I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful you've equipped them with, with the ability to play these instruments and we can praise together. It creates just a beautiful scene of worship for us every week and i'm thankful for them i pray for every single person that plays an instrument at our church and at any given point in time at any service uh there's so many uh, to be thankful for and i'm thankful for them i pray your blessings upon them uh sing a new song to him lord just i, I love that concept of um, you put these things in our heart and uh lord i love coming in and 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 like during the prayer meeting on wednesdays is, is singing hymns with our our church before we we go to prayer and uh, sometimes Bobby will ask if it's a song I've never heard and and a lot of times it's a new song to me and so I love that concept of a new song I love learning new songs and new things and so Lord put a new song in our heart Father put a a new tune in our in our mouth to to sing praises back to you Father maybe it's just repeating words from you maybe it's just rejoicing for what you did in our lives Father we uh, we we trust in your word because your word says it's right. Your work is trustworthy. You love righteousness and justice. We should love those things too, Lord. I pray we would uh, seek after those things with all of our heart. Uh, Lord, the heavens were made by your word, the stars, the, by the breath of your mouth. You gather the water of the sea into a heap, put the depths into storehouses. I love the beautiful imagery of how this vast earth and everything that's in it is just, it was, it was created by you. It's under your control. And Father, you... Um, you determine uh, everything about it. And it's just really amazing how big you are and how amazing you are, yet you want relationship with us. You control nature and you provide for us through that and protect us through that. And we're so thankful. And so we do, as, as verse eight says, we stand in awe of you. Uh, Father, I've, I've stood before mountains, before beaches, before all kind of natural wonders. And, and I'm just in awe of you, your creation, uh, testifies to your greatness, and uh, we stand in awe of you, Lord. Um, and you frustrate the counsel of the nations, thwart plans of the people, Lord. It, it's all under your control, uh, Father. You're sovereign and you're holy, and Lord, nothing will will be accomplished apart from your your will. And so we're thankful for that. We trust that. Um, and, and your word says, "You look down from heaven, observe everyone. You gaze on the inhabitants of the earth from his dwelling place." It says you form the hearts of them all. He considers all their work. Lord, I'm thankful for these hearts that you formed within us. Lord, I pray we we shape them well. We're careful how we what we put in there. Uh, and we want to store your word in our hearts, not not things of this world. Uh, we want to not put our, our hope or trust in anything like your word says, like the horse is a false hope for safety, provides no escape by its great power. But it says, look, the Lord keeps his eye on those who fear him. Father, I pray we trust you every day. Father, we come to you. Uh, we, we cast our cares upon you. We trust you to work. We trust you to lead us, to guide us, to provide for us, to protect us. Uh, Lord, we're thankful for you. And so, as your word says, we, hate, we wait for you, our help and our shield. And our hearts rejoice in you because we trust your holy name. And here's that beautiful phrase again. May your faithful love uh, just... Yesterday or the other day, we prayed about your faithful love surrounding us. And now it's may your faithful love rest on us. That's intimacy. I love that closeness. 
instead of just being around us, it's literally on us. And so, Lord, I'm thankful for the, your touch of love in my life, uh, in the life of our church family. Father, we pray for that today. We pray for your faithful love to rest upon us today and that we would sense your presence in a fresh and new way and that you would put a new song in our heart. Father, that we would praise you. Even if we feel like we can't sing, Father, we'd praise you anyways. Even if we have a bad day, we'd praise you anyways. Even when we feel like we don't want to, that's when we really need to, that we'd praise you even harder on those days. Father, thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done for us, how you love us, how you provide for us. And we're just thankful above all for your son Jesus and the salvation he provides. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, New Prospect family, hope you have a blessed rest of your day or a great day if you're just watching this first thing. But uh, God bless you. We love you. Praying for you. If uh, we can do anything for you, give us a call at the church office and we'll serve you in any way we can. God bless you. Look forward to seeing Pastor Jay tomorrow. Happy, good day.